hi everyone welcome back to jeremiah thompson's life and advice youtube channel and today i will be telling you guys a story time on how i had to choose between my sister or god and i want to let you know who i chose okay before i get into the video if you are new welcome um be sure to like subscribe or comment below if you enjoyed this video at the end give it a thumbs up if this video resonated with your soul in any way possible if I helped you in any way, comment below. I would love to know. I would love to receive any emails from any one of you guys on any topics or discussions. Okay, you guys? <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to get into the video. And I'm going to do a prayer at the end to help. To So if anybody needs any help with anything that they are dealing with, I would love to pray for any one of y'all who are dealing with the same situation I dealt with. Okay, you guys. Um start this video i'm gonna just give y'all a little background on my life a little bit and also give you a background when i got saved and you know just go into that in details with that okay so me growing up uh i'm i'm i was born in louisiana kenna louisiana um my family is from kenna louisiana my mother my father and um I grew up in a household where we fought. Like my mama, she taught us how to fight by teaching, like having us fight each other. Um, so with that being said, like I grew up with a lot of anger. I grew up angry a lot. I grew up fighting on dudes and girls. So like my mama, she did not play when it came down to um, fighting. So we had to, we had to man up and like fight people. Like and I and I noticed like when I grew up, I noticed that 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 was why that was the reason why I was always angry because I had to, you know, fight. You know, but you know if you I don't know I don't know if it's just a culture not a cultural thing but like uh, uh I don't know what to call it, but I don't know if it's like a Louisiana thing or what. But they teach you how to fight early, like you are you you gonna learn how to fight. Like rather you about to fight your siblings, fight your cousins or whoever it is they teach you how to fight so nobody won't pick on you and if somebody and if somebody fights your siblings baby you gonna get whooped you gonna get whooped if you don't fight for your siblings if somebody touch your sibling shouldn't be no talking you better fight them and that's what i was that how, that's how i was brought up y'all so i was brought up with that mentality in my head because my mama she gave me that mentality that anybody touch one of my siblings is going down you know Whooping butt, taking names later. That was that was the saying, you know. So we were supposed to be that, you know, family where we take up for each other. We fight. You touch my siblings, you getting beat up, and that's that's how I was. So that's how I grew up. And you know, along the way, I learned toxic traits. You know, that's a toxic type of mentality to have. But that's how I grew up, and that's how I always been. You know, anybody touch one of my siblings, they getting they be fighting. Period. Point blank. And. That's just how I grew up, y'all. I know it's weird. You probably look at me like I tell people this stuff like this, and they don't believe it because they just see my little face and think I'm just an innocent little thing. But that's how I grew. I grew up with that that hard face. Like, okay, you miss my siblings, boo. <laughs> you miss my siblings, baby. It's going down. P e r i o d. Period. But anyways, y'all. So I'm gonna just fast forward, and I just told y'all a little background of my life. And how I grew up, you know, New Orleans people, we, they didn't play that. Like, they didn't play that at all. So, oh, also, and if you, and if you let somebody hit your sibling or let somebody, some jump your sibling, you getting whooped. You getting whooped. But anyways, okay, let me go to, let me go to the next thing. Okay, y'all, so fast forward to, I think, high school. High school, I am in probably 11 or 10th grade at this time. And... I didn't give y'all my testimony about about me getting to know Christ yet, but you're gonna go, you're gonna go, you're gonna get the testimony very soon. But fast forward to um, high school, I'm in tenth to eleventh grade, and um, I I already gave my life to Christ, like I already gave to my life in Christ in ninth grade. So, you know, I'm just dealing with the the you know the, the steps and um, the process of me, you know, pruning myself. The Lord pruning me to, you know, get better. Like, you know, I'm take day by day, he just taking stuff off me, stripping stuff away. And I'm just getting revelations on why I'm like this, why I'm like that. So I'm just stripping stuff away. And um, it's come down to like ninth, I mean, not ninth, 
10 to 11 grade. I can't really remember the, the grade to the T, but I know it was like 10 or 11 grade. I'm in school with my sister. My sister, she's one year behind me. So, me and my sister, we always grow up fighting. Like, me and her, I tell y'all, me and this girl, we used to fight dudes together. We used to fight them separately. It used to be, we, we didn't play. We, we, we the ones who did not play. My mama told us to fight. It definitely, that's what was going to go down. It's us fighting. We was going to fight. So, and we always had each other back too. So, we didn't, mama didn't play that. We didn't play that either. So, um, place on um, post, you know, fast forward, middle, um, high school. My sister is a grade behind me. I'm above a grade. And, um, one day, it wasn't in one day. It was more like, okay, Lord, I've been in a, y'all know, I'm in high school. I had had me a couple fights. I had to just, I, this, y'all, this may sound crazy, but I had to have me a couple fights, y'all. I'm telling the Lord, like, I'm still in the process of letting the Lord change me. But I'm telling the Lord, Lord, let me have this one more fight, and I'm going to live righteous. You know, and I just think, every time I think of that, how I used to think, I'm like, bro, how you going to tell God what you going to do? Boo, they don't work like that. <laughs> this man is God, and you is not God. You can't tell God what to do. But at the time, I'm like, Lord, let me have one more fight. Okay. If we have one more fight, Lord, and I'm going to live righteous, Lord. I'm not going to fight nobody no more. I'm going to take, I'm going to stop cussing. Well, I think I was already in a, honestly, I think I was already in a, um, the shift of not cussing. Like, I feel like I was going months without cussing at that point. But I'm like, Lord, if I had, if I had this one more fight, Lord, I'm going to live righteous. Okay, y'all. Now, fast forward, I had that fight with this one girl. She tried me. I had that fight. And that was supposed to be done with. Okay, I told the Lord. I'm not gonna fight no more. I'm not fighting nobody no more. And I feel like this was a test from the Lord, y'all. This was like a literal test from the Lord to, to see how serious I was about him because I really wanted to live right. I was tired of my way of living. My way of living was not getting me nowhere. And I thank God I have not been in handcuffs, y'all. I thank the Lord. Like the Lord know He just loves us so much, y'all. He you know, he knows his daughter could not be in jail. I could not, y'all. All the times y'all have fights. Throughout all my years in school, I had never been in handcuffs, y'all. I seen people get dragged by cops in school and stuff. I never been in handcuffs, y'all. And I just think I never been in compass. I never been into one of them little what they call them schools. Um, I don't know what they call penitentiary schools. I can't think of the real name, but them little schools where you are locked down. They got you in um like you know just for the bad kids. I never been there, and I used to be terrible, y'all. When I say I used to be so terrible. I just thank the Lord that he just loves me so much that he just kept me away from that. Because he, I, probably he knew cause that he can talk to me and he can probably trust me to change my life. You know, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But the Lord, he's just so faithful and loving because I was a terrible, y'all. I don't know. I really don't know how I even made it this far without even in handcuffs, y'all. My siblings been in handcuffs. I've never been in handcuffs. And I thank the Lord because I used to be the terrible one out of my siblings. And I just was never in hand because thank the Lord. Thank my father above it because I can do it. He know his daughter can do it. He know he know you. He know your he know you. You his kids, he know you. He know you, I'm telling you. He know what you can handle, what you can't. But anyway, y'all. So I had my last fight. I'm like, Lord, I'm a little righteous for you, Lord. I promise you, Jesus, I'm a little righteous for you, Lord. I'ma stop willfully sinning. My lips chapter, hold up. I'm going to stop willfully sinning. I'm going to do right by you, Lord. And then something comes up, y'all. Something comes up. My sister ended up getting jumped. And um, that was just the most tough feeling for me, y'all. She ended up getting jumped by her um, girlfriend. Her girlfriend and her sister at the time. And um, my sister, she... um. I wasn't there. Like, I was in the school, but I wasn't, like, around. Like, at that time, I was like, I don't know. I stopped dealing with certain people because, you know, I was seeing how people are not really your friends. So I wasn't even around, like, to even see it. But everybody was telling me about it. Then I seen my sister one day. I was in the cafeteria. I seen my sister crying. She was getting um put in the office. And I seen her crying. She was like, yeah, they jumped me. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, like, I was crying for her because I'm like, y'all, I just made this vow to my father that I'm going to stop fighting people. And my sister ended up getting jumped. And I think it was by somebody who I really didn't like either way. Like, I don't think I even liked them two girls anyway. So I'm like, 
I'm like, okay. I was crying with my sister. I'm like, Lord, I gotta fight her. I gotta, I gotta fight them, Lord. I got to. And it was just so bad, y'all. Like the just the it was just like terrible. I'm like, Lord, this is my sister. Then I was worried about what my mama gonna say. I was worried about my sister having a grudge against me because I'm not fighting them. If I tell her, Lady, I can't fight. Like if I tell her, like, sister, I can't fight for you. I mean, I can't fight the girl for you who just jumped you. I can't fight them. I feel like we was going to have a bad relationship. Like, I feel like she was going to hold a grudge against me if I did not fight the girl. I feel like my mother was going to have a grudge against me, too, if I did not fight the girl. Because she always taught us that you got to take up for your siblings. Like, somebody jumped your siblings? Oh, baby, no. They don't go around in the Thompson's family, baby. So, I'm like, okay, Lord. I'm like, Lord, please help me. And I was crying. I was, I was feeling so terrible, y'all. I'm like, bro, I got to fight these girls. I got to fight them. And, um, I don't know what happened, y'all. I, and I ended up seeing one of the girls in the restaurant. One day I was skipping. And I was like, y'all, I was also in, like, a depression of state, too. Because I was like, I don't know. I was just in a depression of state trying to think of what I was going to do. I'm, like, trying to think of, like, how was I going to move about this? Because I just made a vow to my father. But then something just came in with my sister just got jumped it wasn't even a regular one-on-one -on -one fight it was like a jump fight so i'm like lord please help me lord i know i don't want to i don't want to continually displease you or just make these false promises lord please help me lord please i was praying to the lord please help me lord because i'm very angry i really want to beat them up so the lord he made it to where i i ended up seeing one of the girls like i was in the restroom skipping one day and i ended up seeing one of the girls in the restroom and she just came to me talking like a little trash and I don't know why I was smiling. I really had the opportunity to fight her then, but then I didn't. I didn't do nothing at that time either. And um, fast forward. Okay, fast forward. I don't. I don't know what happened. I just. In, I did not end up fighting. I don't know what it was. Probably the Lord just tested me, and I had to decide who I was, who I was going to serve, who I was going to be loyal to. You know. And I chose the Lord after, you know, after just talking, the girl came in the restroom talking to trash or whatever, trying to be a little smart Alec. And I just decided, like, I just prayed. And the Lord just, I just I just chose the Lord, y'all. I just chose to find my father who arts in heaven, who always going to have my back no matter what, you know. And the stuff just went, it just went over. It just went done. It was just done for, y'all. Like, it was literally done for. Like, everybody forgot about it, like. It just went on about that. Like, my sister even went on about her life. Like, she wasn't holding no grudges or nothing. It just went on. It just was gone. Like, it was just crazy. It was crazy, y'all, because it was just crazy when I think about that. Because I didn't have to fight that girl. I mean, I didn't fight nobody. And I did not choose my sister or my father. And I was being obedient. I'm like, at the moment, like, I don't know, my thoughts was like, my sister, she just wanted to deal with it. And that's what happened y'all i had also y'all this is around the time i really heard the lord's voice and the lord told me are you going are you living to please your sister or are you living to please me and that's all i needed to hear to make my mind up and to do right by him because he's the only man i know who is faithful to the finish and he's gonna love me unconditionally you know your family members they they will change up on you they love it's conditional but the lord love is not conditional so I chose to please my father and not please my sister and not please my family. And that was the best decision I ever made. I had to choose God over my father. Oh, I had to choose God over my sister and I did. I'm like, man, I'm not even about to fight these people. You know, I just made a vow to my father. He already let me have this one fight where I didn't get in trouble. So I'm like, okay, you want to choose who you want to serve. Yes, your family members may be sad, they may be mad, they may be angry with you for choosing him, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, y'all. It doesn't matter who you choose when it comes down to God. It doesn't matter, y'all. You have to choose the Lord because if you already know, your family members, they change up like the word. And some people, some people, they never change. You know, some people, they just be about drama. They'll be in another fight the next day and you fighting for people who already, who always get in trouble. It's like, you defeating the purpose why you not fighting why you not trying to make up your mind who you're gonna serve or who you're gonna follow who you're gonna be loyal to because at the end of the day some of these human beings some of our family members and friends they just be full of drama and they don't stop they don't stop y'all 
they will keep going with the drama and you you fight for them one day the next day you gotta fight for them another day next day you gotta fight for them another because they're just they just prone to want to be in dra drama and just be in conflict you know so i feel like that was the best decision i ever made and i feel like that was just a test to see where my heart was and what my heart was lying to because i was telling the lord i was being honest with him i'm like lord i really want to fight these people because they just they jump my sister lord they jump my system like well, I really want to fight these people and I just thank the Lord for just letting me make the right decision just the Holy Spirit just letting me make the right decision and choosing him you know and I feel like I had got a reward for that and it's just great when you be faithful to the Lord y'all the Lord is he he loves when we are faithful to him he loves when we are when we are obedient and he keeps all his promises y'all so I was just so happy well I Looking back at this, I, I always be I was thinking about that time where I'm like, thank God that I did not do that. Thank God that I did not fight them people. Cause ain't no telling what would have happened to me. It's not because it's not that I would have got beat up, but my father he would discipline. Our father disciplines us, Lord Jesus Christ. Our father, our father God, he disciplines us, y'all. When we are when we don't want to listen, when we are making false promises to him, we can't keep our word, baby. He will discipline us, and I thank God that I. I just let him take over and he made it to where everybody forgot about it. My sister, she didn't have no grudges against me. Um, she didn't have no grudges against me. My mother didn't have no grudges against me. And I'm gonna tell y'all some crazy stuff. I'm gonna tell y'all the craziest thing that happened, y'all. The girls apologized to me. I don't know if they apologized to my sister, but they apologized to me. And that shook me up, y'all. Like like a year or two, like I, I know one girl, she, the um, my sister girlfriend at the time, she apologized to me like two months later about the situation, and her sister apologized to me the year I graduated, 2017. I graduated. She apologized to me, apologized to me, 2017, the year I graduated, and y'all, I was mind blown because I forgot about that. You know, I moved on with my life, and I wasn't holding no grudges against nobody, and these young ladies, they went out their way to apologize to me i don't know like it trips me out every time i think about that because i don't know if they apologize to my sister and she the one that, that she the one that got jumped by they came and apologized to me you know and i'm like bro god is so good because these people came apologize to me i don't know if the lord just let them know how hurt i was by that or what it was y'all and i just thank the lord like it still blows my mind when I think about it. I really want to cry because these people apologized to me and they didn't even hurt me. They did hurt me, but they didn't hurt me like physically for me to. And I didn't let them know that they hurt me physically. I mean, not physically, um, you know, emotionally. They, I didn't let them know that. Like, I never went to none of them with drama. You know, after the, after my sister had a fight, I didn't come to none of them with drama. I was just chilling. And the Lord just let them apologize to me. And it was an apology that I didn't even know I needed, y'all. It was an apology. I did not know I needed them apologies, y'all. And I was just like, wow. They coming to me to apologize? Like, bro. Like, that was like mind-blowing. I'm like, God is so good. I still tripped out about that, y'all, because I just don't know if they apologize to my sister. <laughs> but the Lord just let your light shine so bright upon you that people will apologize for stuff. They didn't even do it to you, but they did it to your family member. Or just because they did it to a child of God, the Lord had them apologize to me. And that really that really meant a lot because, you know, I was growing. and I was trying to grow, y'all. I was trying to grow. I was trying to stop my old ways, y'all. Because, <sighs> man, sin leads to death, y'all. I just wanted to, I wanted to start over and try, try to do better, y'all. I wanted to do right by people. I wanted to be kind to others. And I just thank the Lord for just making that happen for me. And just allowing people to apologize for something they didn't really even physically do for me. And just allowing the Lord to even let me choose him. You know, some people be about the same drama, but I just thank the Lord. And I thank the God. I thank my Father who arts in heaven that I chose him. Even with my mind, my flesh did not want me to choose him. And that moment my flesh did not want me to choose him. My flesh wanted me to act. And you cannot act off emotion because emotion will send you to hell. You know, acting off emotion is not the wisest thing to do. But I just thank the Lord that I chose him and over my sister any day. And I was screaming out to the top of my lungs. I thank God. I thank, I thank the Lord that I chose him. 
And I choose him out of any family member, any friend. I continue to choose him because this man loves me. When I was going through my depression in the States, this man the only man who saved me, asked how I was doing, comfort me in my time of need, and just gave me a joy that no man on this earth can give me. And I just thank the Lord for that. But um, I also want to pray for you guys. Who Anybody who may be dealing with something where you are wrestling, your flesh and you, your spirit is wrestling with who to choose. You've been dealing with a state in your life where your family members are like, laughing at you they are talking trash about you by choosing god want to choose god want to get closer to god and i just want to pray for you that you get the clarity and the wisdom that you need that the holy spirit helps you make the right make the right choice for your life that's going to be beneficial to you because baby i'm gonna tell you one thing only two things could have happened when i was um only two things could have happened i could have been in jail i could have been suspended i could have been um well i could have been um I could have been in jail or suspended, and I could have, um, I think I've been disobedient. So two things really could have happened for me if I would have chose that other way, you know? And sometimes the Lord want to test you to see how much you want to trust him, how much you want him. You know, how bad do you want him? It doesn't matter what your family members say. It doesn't matter, y'all. At the end of the day, this man, word is the only thing that stands, y'all. And I just want y'all to just feel his goodness and understand his goodness, y'all. He loves you so much. And he wants the best for all of us. It's the best the best decision I've made was to choose God over anybody on this earth. Best decision. I'm going to continue to choose him. Because his, his, his opinion, his word, his way is the only thing that matters in my life. So let me say my prayer for you guys. Again, y'all, I want to just say, if you are struggling with choose, knowing who to choose, choose the man above. He already chose you before you was even formed in your mother's womb. He chose you before you was formed in your mother's womb. And we look at that, you're like, wow, this man chose me before I was formed in my mother's womb. And you want to get technical with it. How these parents, how these people is nowadays, baby, they, they, they brag about wanting to abort, abort you. So they had the chance to abort you, but the Lord made that made it made it fit to where you was you survived. That you came out a healthy baby and alive, you know? And just resonate on the Lord's goodness, y'all. I don't want y'all to ever have to deal with that. I know it's tough, but choose a man who who's been protecting you forever. Your family members say all types of mean stuff to you to hurt your family. So the Lord ain't gonna say nothing like that to you. He ain't gonna put you in a predicament where you gotta choose between him and um me um him and just i don't know other situations he ain't about to put you in situations where you just can't function you know so just just y'all i just want y'all just to receive the lord y'all if you are still in with that just in particular if it resonates with your soul comment below and i want to see how i can help you if you are still dealing with that, if i can pray for you if you are still dealing with that if you are just dealing with a state where you're like lord i don't know how i'm gonna get through this lord i want to choose you but my family is making it hard for me to choose you but sometimes we have to leave our family members sometimes we are not honored in our own home so we have to leave and go seek the lord and search the lord by ourselves so we're gonna keep keep getting provoked so anyways let me pray for you guys and i just hope you guys subscribe and like and comment if this video helped you or resonated with your soul in any type of way Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for your will and your way, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you made it known that you love us, Lord, and that you chose us before we were formed in our mother's womb, Lord, to be chosen individuals, to be people who are lived by you and your will and your way, Lord. Father God, we ask that you just break any soul tie with any family member, Lord, or any friend, Lord, any relationship, Lord, that is making us choose between you or them, Lord, because you are the almighty God, Lord. You are the only man that we should be pleasing, Lord. You are the only man we owe real, true loyalty to, Lord. When all else fails us, Lord, when these people on this earth fails us, Lord, you will not fail us, Lord. Your way is the right way, Lord. Your way is the only way, Jesus. So we just, Father God, thank you, Lord, for your will and your way, Lord, that you allow your will and your way be done in our life, Lord, when we are 
lost and confused don't know who to choose lord allow us to choose you every single time lord allow us to feel your presence every single time that we are caught up with our inner obstacle lord our obstacle that is true making us choose or making us resonate with who to choose or making our flesh want to boil up lord to, to to act in our flesh lord lord allow us not to act in emotion lord because emotion keeps us away from you lord we, we are not moving in your will lord so we just thank you for lord for and just allowing us to move in wisdom, Lord. Allowing us to move in just your grace, Lord. To always choose you, and Lord. And not feel bad when we do choose you, Lord. Because you are the only true living God, Lord. So we just thank you, Father God, in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm so happy about this video. Because this is like a great video. I feel like... I just feel like I just... I feel like this video really just touched me again. Because I just remember... How much the lord loves me and how much he just cares so much about me that people my quote-unquote enemies apologize to me and i didn't even know i needed the apology i was really shocked that they apologized because <laughs> i wasn't looking for an apology for nobody because it wasn't done to me but the lord will make a way out of no way so i just want to thank y'all for watching and i want to say um be blessed you guys and i hope to bye you guys love y'all be blessed